What's good, my little committee? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tie. You already know what time it is. Now, let's go. First off, guys, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone in the lit committee, everyone who's watching right now. I have actually reached the 4K watch hour time on this channel, which means that I am halfway to getting monetized. All I need now is the 1K sub. So if you guys can get me there, I'm about to really start running up this content. Oh my gosh. If you haven't already, I need you to smash the like button. I need you to hit the subscribe button. That red button that says subscribe, I need you to, to smash it. And we're just gonna keep going up and keep grinding. So thank you very much for that. Now today I'm gonna be talking about what the Buss It Challenge teaches us about the state of the music industry in 2021. Now, if you don't know what the current Buss It Challenge is, I don't know if I like that name, but that's the name of the song. Buss It Challenge. It's basically what you saw in the videos I posted before the start of this one. Girls appear to get on camera, and at first they look like they've been up all night trying to complete year eight art class homework. If you, if you know the struggle, you know. And I'm talking the day before it's due, so you know they, they're rushing. And then they go off camera for a bit and then when they come back up, they look quite presentable like they're on a red carpet or they're going on a date. You know, they look sharp, their hair's done, they got makeup on and, and they are shaking all types of cake. And let me tell you, this cake is not gluten free by any shape or form, no pun intended. I'm going to leave one of my personal faves that I've seen so far right here. Yeah. As you can see, very nice shape, very nice structure. She clearly knows what she's doing. Big Betty, you forget, brother. And I'm sure this particular Buss It Challenge has caused a lot of men to start their own Buss It Challenge, if you catch my truth, but not me, because we are on Seema retention around here and whatnot. But wow, what an absolute stallion. Let's just look at that one more time. Whew, lovely. <laughs> we really are in a lockdown, aren't we? <laughs> but anyway, we're going to break down what this means for the music industry right now. But you already know what you got to do. You just got to like, comment, subscribe so you can be up to date every time I drop a banger like this one. And hit that notey because you ain't in the east. So you can be the first to know when one of these comes out. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the song Buss It is by a female rapper who goes by the name of Erica Banks and it's taken from her 2020 self-titled project, Erica Banks. The song currently has close to 9 million Spotify plays and that is sure to shoot up in the days and weeks to come and she's also amassed over 1 million monthly listeners so I think it's safe to say that she's doing well for herself and this is all because of this Buss It challenge that people just can't seem to stop doing. I just see it on my timeline 24-7. I just see it, buss it, buss it. That's not the way you sing that song, man. 24-7. And I think there's some important lessons to take from this. And I might make slight reference to the video I made about how UK rappers can use TikTok to get on. So you should probably go check out that video after or before this one, whatever suits your fancy. I don't know how you people get down these days. But whatever you want to do, do it. The first lesson is that if you didn't already know, if your song ain't busting on TikTok, rappers, you're losing. You're just losing. I would hope by now that all your labels, your management team, anyone like that, if they think that you got a song and you got a hit, like a hit, then they should be trying their absolute hardest to make sure that you blow or that song blows on TikTok. They should be paying the highest viewed TikTokers to use your song in whatever TikTok they want to do about brushing their teeth or something like that. Or they should be hiring people to come up with dances for the song that could blow up or something like that. They should be basically doing whatever it takes to get that TikTok buzz and momentum going because so many people's lives has changed by their song blowing up on TikTok. So in essence, this is more of a message to all artists, not just artists that are on, wherever artists you are, big, small, pause. Signed or independent, use TikTok at all costs. Well, maybe not all costs, don't go broke, but you, you get what I mean. Because that is where the music industry is at right now. And we kind of saw it start to creep up a little bit where songs that were made were blowing up online because they had 
like dances associated with them, like obviously Look Alive with the shoot dance and um, Two Millie with the Millie Rock, Juju on the Beat, all these different types of, of dance songs, etc. Like you get the point. But now we're more, we're still in that era of dances, but we're kind of more in the era of dances slash challenges or challenges more so. And if your song has a challenge that people can get behind, it is sure to blow. A good challenge as well. And it could it could be a stupid one. Like, uh, I'm sure if someone made a challenge of a, of a an upbeat song, and it's who can get downstairs to the to the bathroom the or to make breakfast the fastest, that could probably blow. If you're gonna take that, make sure you give me credit. I've if I'm trademarking that right now, it's none of you little dusty rappers try to take that. Nah. Dusty rappers. Nah, I'm just playing. The second thing that I think you can take from this is that. It's quite evident that TikTok is mainly you, or at least it seems that TikTok is mainly used by women. And yes, I have the statistics to back this up. If you look right here, TikTok's main user base in America from June 2020 was 58.8% female. Check the statistics, big man. So if you are going to make your song a challenge, it might be more wise if you can... Or if the song calls for it, you know, make it or tailor it towards women. Because a lot of girls see a challenge and they immediately want to jump on it and get behind it. And I'll be real. I don't know one guy in my social circle anyway that uses TikTok. I don't know one guy that that uses it. I've started to use it just to kind of promote these videos a bit more. But I don't think you're going to see me on there. See, pop it, pull it, turn it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, just, I don't think you'll see Maybe in the future, but not right now Not that me or my circle are an indicator of anything But I'm just making the point that, you know If, if there's a challenge Girls seem to be more likely to, you know Get their phone out and actually try to copy it and do it At least if it's like a dance that involves some sort of movement And especially one like the Buss It Challenge Where you're trying to see who can do the best one? And essentially, that's that challenge is basically about who can shake that birthday cake, that wedding cake, that pound cake. Cake, 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 cake. So, of course, it's going to lead to more people to hop on it because naturally people are competitive and girls are quite competitive as well. Well, not all, some, most. Let's not be the, you know. And as more people hop on it, your song gets more plays, you get more notoriety. And that gives you a great place to grow your fan base and people are actually checking for your music. Obviously, if you're just starting out as an artist, maybe blowing up on TikTok straight away could hinder your career. People might just see you as that person that had that TikTok song, that one hit. But if you've got loads of hits in the vault and you're confident, I say go for it. Obviously, don't try and make every song a, a TikTok dance or a TikTok song because then, then people are going to see it as corny. But it's not a platform that should be overlooked, is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes things will happen naturally as well. People will just think, oh, I can make a challenge out of this song cause, so they can blow up on TikTok. But simultaneously, your song is blowing up as well. So sometimes you don't even need to manufacture it in that way or try and push it like it is that. Sometimes it will just naturally pop off and... I mean, obviously, there are songs like 2C Slide, which was definitely made for TikTok. And no one can tell me that song wasn't made for TikTok. But yeah, sometimes people just make a, make a challenge out of anything. So you might get lucky like that. But as I'm saying, I think you should try and utilize that platform or that platform should not be overlooked. But yeah, I think that's what this challenge, combined with a lot of other challenges, teaches us about the industry today. TikTok is the new or at least one of the new gatekeepers in music. If your song ain't on TikTok, you're kind of losing. Yeah, that's true. Now let's go back to my nigga on the floor. And if you want it to be on TikTok, it's probably going to work in your favor if the song caters to women or you can make it look like it caters to women. But let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Do you agree with what I'm saying and that TikTok is not a platform that should be overlooked in the music industry in 2021 and rappers really need to utilise it this year? Or do you think that it's a bunch of baloney and that people can make it 
by themselves. They don't need to have some corny dance to go with their music. That good music will always prevail. You let me know in the comment section down below. As I said, don't forget to hit the like button so we can break that YouTube algorithm. Comment whatever you want to say and subscribe so we can reach that milestone. Right now, we're on the road to 400 subs, but we're really trying to get to 1K subs, and you already know what time it is. Follow me on my IG at LitTaiENT underscore underscore for all updates from both the UK and the US music scene. And you can follow me on the only LitTaiENT if you care about what I do when I'm not making these bangers for you guys. I also provide updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow that as well, because what else are you doing with your life? Absolutely nothing. Stay black. And if you're not black, Stay whatever race you are. I bet. Peace. Well, you ain't know I can sing.